Hi, I'm Jess Mizorak, and you're watching Loyalty TV, the place to be to build a better, more successful online store. Today I want to talk about Starbucks and their big news with the rewards changes earlier this year. In case you missed it, the coffee retailer changed their loyalty program entirely, changing the structure from something like getting the 13th drink free, so basing the rewards on number of purchases, to basing it on the amount of money spent. So now customers have to spend about $62, $63 to get a drink free. So my question is, was this a good move for the brand? Let's see what Starbucks had to say. First of all, Starbucks said, well, customers will be earning more stars with each purchase. What did customers say? That's crap. Why should we care if we're getting more stars when the stars are worth a lot less? This complaint was the loudest among drinkers of the more back to basics coffee, and it caught the attention of Forbes, Business Insider, Time, CNN, and other major news outlets. So what actually motivated Starbucks to change their program in the first place? Well, great business logic, because their previous program had a big problem. That problem was it rewarded a $2 purchase and a $5 purchase in exactly the same way. So what did that mean? A customer could come in 12 different times and purchase a small, plain coffee and get their free drink. Likewise, someone else could come in and purchase a huge double frappuccino with a cherry on top 12 times and the same result was achieved, the free drink. The best part of this whole thing is that According to Time.com, this idea to change the program actually came from the customers themselves on the Starbucks Idea website. Now, it's interesting to note that what Starbucks did when they changed their program is really quite similar to what American Airlines did also this year. The major airline carrier decided to base their miles program instead of on the number of miles traveled as previously, they're now rewarding the amount of spend again great business logic, and that's the change. But back to the coffee chain. So the next problem with Starbucks' old program is that it caused the in-store experience to actually decline quite a lot. I experienced this firsthand because if somebody wanted to make um, a purchase of multiple drinks at the same time, they would actually ask to purchase each drink separately so that they could get a star for each purchase. Now, this increased wait times for a lot of customers who just wanted to get in, get out, get their coffee, which is really the, the basis of the Starbucks business model. Um, and, you know, customers were losing out who did purchase their four drinks together um, because they would only get the one star as opposed to those who asked to make separate purchases in order to get the best out of their loyalty program. Now, let's see what's better about Starbucks new program and what's still missing. Well, the new rewards program has actually fixed a lot of the problems that I have mentioned that the old program caused. However, as I mentioned earlier in the video, customers weren't really pleased with this whole new program because now many of the regulars have to work a bit harder and spend quite a lot more in order to get their free coffee. Well, the new program will also include some interesting promotions for gold members, such as monthly double star days when customers can earn double the stars for their purchase. And they also said they will work with corporate partners to create other opportunities to earn more stars. But so far, these ideas have little to do with the customers themselves. So it's basically just rewarding purchases at this point, and it's not rewarding actual loyalty and what customers are inter how customers are interacting with the brand, what they're doing, how they're engaging. And I think that's something that's really missing from this program that Starbucks could focus more on. To read more about major loyalty program updates, changes, and announcements from earlier this year, from companies like American Airlines, Starbucks, even Uber and McDonald's, check out our blog post about the topic. You can do so by clicking on the info icon at the top corner. This article, well, I really recommend it because it really shows why we think teams should put a bit more time into considering their different groups of customers when coming up with their loyalty program plans. So what's the moral of the story? Your bottom line is important, but so are your customers' feelings. If you agree, be sure to tweet it out.
Did you learn from this video? If so, subscribe to our Loyalty TV channel on YouTube. And we'd really appreciate it if you'd share the video with your professional network. If you'd like to see what one of the best e-commerce tools can do for your store, sign up for a demo of Ontavo Loyalty Software at ontavo.com. Always do the best for your customers, try to make them smile, and keep them coming back to your store. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time on Loyalty TV.